What are the top actions uh, that someone needs to do to actually be successful in the commercial side of real estate investing? Yeah. Great question. Kind of go, come in full circle of uh, kind of what I mentioned before is, is get really good at sourcing deals and raising money, right? And, and get involved in environments like the mastermind that we're in. And there's many great masterminds out there. Um, find a mastermind. I think, I think and finding a mastermind, finding the coach, uh, I don't really do, you know, I, I don't really promote like just one-on-one -on -one mentorship. I think masterminds are way more valuable because I think it's one to many. You have a lot of mentors in the room and a lot of people you can learn from in different seasons of their life. And, you know, maybe somebody has their health really dialed in that you can lean toward and somebody has relationships. Great. And then many people have business dialed in. And so I really like the value of masterminds and, um, I can assure you it from, I was really bad at real estate up until about 2015, 2016, which is when I joined my first real estate mastermind. And I was, I was growing and you know, guys like us and anybody who's even listening to this, you have something inside you that, that, you know, you're going to be successful. You're going to figure it out on your own. Right. But you're going to get the education one of two ways. The one way is, you know, getting punched in the face over and over and over again. Like I did it for a long time. And I had incremental growth and when I got a little bit better each year or year over year. But as soon as I joined a mastermind, it was, it was astronomic growth. It was like quantum leaps forward every quarter that I went out to an event. And it was, I had, I was able to lean on other people's experiences, what to do, what not to do the people that they've built relationships with. I could fast track to a great CPA, fast track to the best marketers in the entire country, fast track to other private money lenders that other people have used and are already warmed up to doing what we do that they've built the relationship with. They say good things about me and all of a sudden they invest a million dollars with me. Like that's, that's unheard of and try to develop that relationship from the ground up is it would take years. And so I always thought, man, I, now I understand it. I'd much rather stroke a check for the education today and then fast track it versus you know, uh, trying to learn it all on my own and, and go the slow path. That's going to cost you more and take a lot longer that way. So I think the best thing you can do is join a mastermind, any of the masterminds out there, look at whoever the leader is and look at some of the members that have been there for at least three years or longer. Uh, there's some transactional people who come in go and all that kind of stuff. But if they're there for at least three years, that means they really uh, align with the core values and the VAT and, and, uh, the mindset of that thought leader of whoever is the organizer of that organization. And you can, if you align with them and their values, then I think that's a great way to get started into a mastermind. Um, and then from there, just focus on those revenue generating activities, which is finding deals, raising money.